Hello there. Now, as many of you may know, almost everything I grow here in the forest garden is perennial, but there are a few specimens that I can't get perennial versions of. One of them is the humble potato. Well, I do have sweet potatoes growing, and actually I, I find them far superior to the annual potatoes. But any of you who have seen my how to grow sweet potato video knows, I do have trouble growing them here. Not every year, but they're not always that reliable, being a South American crop rather than a good old traditional English one. But this year, over the last few months, I've been trying the no-dig method of growing potatoes. Well, one of them anyway. It's now mid-November, but back at the beginning of last March, I strimmed the grass flat, put some brown cardboard down, piled a load, a load of uh, wood chips on top, and I just laid out forget how many, I think it was about 12 potatoes, just laid them out on top of the wood chips and used one bale of hay that came from the meadow areas here. And that one bale of hay lasted the year. Instead of mounting up the potatoes with soil, as one normally would, as soon as they started to sprout, I just covered up the, the new green stem with more hay and built up and up and up throughout the year until they flowered. And they flowered about a month ago now, so I'm a little bit late in harvesting them. But the idea is that I should just be able to part the hay and harvest my potato crop with no digging, and it didn't require any mounting up, only the piling the hay on top. So let's see. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it absolutely has worked. Although I, perhaps I've left some of them in the ground a little bit too long, because like with everything else here, I've left it far too late in the season to harvest many things. Yep, I started off with one potato, about that size, and all these have come from them. And that ought to be the case all the way up this bed. Oh, over there I planted some ochre just because I did really well with ochre here, and I ran out of space planting my ochre tubers over there, so this is just like the, the dumping ground for extra things. So just this two foot by six foot strip, 12 potatoes in it, and from the looks of the beginning of it there, the crop is going to be significant. <laughs> Look at this. Well, I better turn the camera back around. Yep, that has been an absolute success. And all I have to do is pick them all up the ground. And then over the winter time, this hay will turn back to delicious, weed-free, rich soil. And all I have to do next springtime is just keep a few of, the, a few of these potatoes back, the ones that I don't eat, if I can resist doing that and start again. Now, where did I put it? Um, it's not really wise to grow the same variety of potatoes in the same patch year after year, because they get things like the dreaded potato blight. But according to my grandmother's folklore, if I plant horseradish, several horseradish plants, amongst the potato patch, that will help them to be blight resistant so I can keep them growing here for a few years. And it also improves their flavour. I'll let you know how it goes next year. So it looks like I've got some harvesting to do now. No dig harvesting. Just stick my hands in, pull them out, and well, keep them or eat them. Maybe, yeah, maybe both. <laughs> okay, uh, I've learned something today. Hope you have too. See you soon. Bye. Potatoes. What's over here? Oh, ho, ho, ho. treasures, treasures. 
it's now 90 seconds later and I'm getting on very well with the harvest so far but I just wanted to add in case I wasn't clear that not only are the advantages of not digging the soil huge due to a lot less work and not disturbing any of the ecology of the soil that I just wanted to say that I'm not going to have to dig it next year or any subsequent years because by just allowing the hay to rot down it'll become new fresh soil so this is something I can just keep going indefinitely not necessarily with potatoes but certainly for a few years <clears throat> and I can just yeah just, just keep piling on the hay and it'll keep turning to soil lovely deep rich soil that I shall never have to dig that's it really <laughs> I could have put that more concisely but this is a spontaneous video <laughs> bye again Ooh, I just knelt on some